Hey crafty peeps, it's Megan from Cluttered Crafter, and today's video is a smashbook process in which the layout that I did was I used the packaging to um, some acoustic guitar strings for my 12 string guitar, and I also showed some like uh, bubblegum wrapper jokes and like fortunes from like fortune cookies that I was going to do another layout on but I decided not to that will be for another time and I'm just going through the pages here and picking out a page that I want and I end up not using this page this grid I end up using another page because I really like the grid and I ended up covering up the pages and I didn't want to cover that up so here I'm just cutting out the front and the back of the box and uh, I use my Smashbook like kind of like a junk journal. I don't have a photo printer and I don't have access to one nearby. So I don't, I haven't scrapped any photos of, of like my memories or adventures or anything. Just little odds and ends that I want to keep like memory keeping without photos and so without further ado I'm going to get into what I'm doing with this layout so inside of the box are these little pouches and that's what the strings come in for the guitar so I decided that um that I wanted to use them in like a waterfall layout on that side of the page I didn't want to cut them up so I like the look of them. So what I decided to do um, was I glued them down using the flap and then I wrote some song lyrics to my favorite songs on the uh, inside of them so when you flip it up you can see the lyrics. And I just turned to another page so you can see what I was doing. I was just putting some double-sided tape on the back of the packaging. And then this is uh, from a paper pad that I, um, I think it's DW, DCWV, I think. I'm not quite sure because I got it at my friend's house. I'm just measuring out the size of the paper that I need. And it wasn't going to fit on two of the pages. So one page I went with the music note, uh, sheet music scrapbook paper and then the other page I have this uh, notepad it's blank sheet music that I had when I was taking music courses in university so I still have a whole bunch of that paper left so I decided to uh, use that on one side of the layout as well um, some of the not, not some, uh, all of the song lyrics that I used in order, but you'll see me write those out momentarily once after I finish putting the paper down. Um, I have lyrics from Nick Jonas, Unhinged. Then I have Angelus by Jensen Ackles. She Waits by Loud and Swain. Stone Cold by Demi Lovato. Uh, Wild Mountain Time or Go Lassie Go. A lot of people know it that way uh, by the Corys. And then lastly, I have Save You by Simple Plan. My music taste um, is all over the place. I love any type of music, any genre. There's no particular genre that I like. Um, and this like goes for songs. I don't have a particular favorite song. It always changes up, but there are songs. Like, I do have favorite songs um, by the artist, but I can't pick a singular song that I like. Uh, so you'll see there that time that I end up switching to a different page and I have the packaging 
uh, glued down onto the page. And I didn't do a lot of embellishing. I go in afterwards and just include some music stickers that I had. And I do have some music stamps. Uh, but I decided that I didn't want to use my stamps. I wanted to keep it simple. And this is where I was going in and writing down the lyrics to the songs. And I originally was using just a black liquid ink pen, but it was smearing a little bit. So I just went in with my calligraphy marker instead. And I don't, uh, I didn't keep in the whole process of me writing down lyrics because it was quite a bit because I kept getting distracted with a few things as I was doing this layout so it took me a little longer it took me about I'd say an hour and a half because I was also like listening to music and watching some videos and all that so I wasn't I, I kept getting distracted by little things here and there but yeah I decided to go in with my calligraphy marker instead because it's a little darker black it shows up a little bit more and that's and now I'm going in with my double-sided tape and adhering that down and you can see that I used the flap from the pouch to adhere it down uh, it made the waterfall work a whole lot better than using washi tape on top and underneath it and I do go in after this and include some music washi tape I had. There's, um, it's like a plastic washi tape, so I, it was in my collection, my little um, container of washi tape that I don't really use that often. It was kind of poked away. And I also include this quote on some um, sheet, blank sheet music and it's when words fail music speaks I just went on Google images and searched up music quotes and now I'm just going in and adding a few music notes onto the uh, sheet music as well as a treble clef and a bass clef I thought it would look pretty neat to have some music notes scattered onto the paper instead of having it blank and just a quote. And here I'm going in with my music stickers. These are the only music stickers I have. I thought I had quite a bit more, uh, but sadly I don't. So I might be going on a hunt for some music stickers to add to my collection and here I'm just going through my um, containers of washi tape to try and find some music themed washi tape and I had a little bit of trouble getting the tape started on this the first tape that I used it has like uh, vinyl records uh, cassette tapes and guitars on it and then I used piano keys and I wanted to spruce up the waterfall a little bit so I added the, the piano keys washi tape on the inside and then I also added some above the quote and that's everything I did I hope you guys liked this video thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye and happy crafting